When it comes to gender equality, the tech industry is still lacking. According to several global studies, women make up less than a third of the world's workforce in technology-related fields. But this lack of representation isn't evident at the Web Summit Rio. Here, according to organizers, 45% of entrepreneurs are women, making the highest participation ever at the mega tech event. Alinio Oliveira is one example. She's the co-founder and chief product officer at Tribe, a fintech company which uses AI to improve investment risk prediction in farms. I mean, I will not deny it, it is a challenge, but I feel that women, they have so much advantage uh, when they go to this field of technology, in the way that we treat products, in the way that we care about details. Organizers report that nearly half of this year's attendees are female, a significant presence even as the tech sector remains mostly male-dominated. Well, this event has the potential to become the largest gathering of female tech talent in South America to date, Concerns about gender pay gap and layoffs affecting more women than men are on the table. It's widely known that the tech sector has been experiencing a surge in job cuts since last year. However, according to Carly Alves, founder of a beauty and well-being platform, women are demonstrating their ability to create new businesses. We started in Brazil in 2021 and have expanded to Portugal and Spain. We have secured investments totaling around $10 million so far, showing that while women may be facing hardships in the tax sector, they are not losing the initiative. As home and hybrid work diminishes and AI takes over jobs, women in the sector are feeling the impact more than men. But that at least seems to be one of the disruptive forces in the technology sector everyone wants to resolve. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.